what's up what's going on people of youtube it's your boy m lee and this is an unboxing overview of my black and white backdrop by ravelli now ravelli ephoto proam and varizoom are all off-brand companies they make a lot of photo and photography gear all these companies including a handful of others make some decent gear some may vary some is good some is you know bad but all in all ravelli makes some decent gear this is pretty much your budget option you can't compare this to not anything that's professional that costs like five times more but for what it costs is very good so everything comes packaged pretty well um i did i was missing a clamp i only got one clamp so i'm missing one of those but um it's no big deal i wasn't planning on using the clamps anyways the two clamps that came with it but still you know i paid for something and it should come with everything that's you know included now as far as the black backdrop is concerned, I wish it was less reflective, you know, when you're lighting your subject in front of it, you don't want none of that light to bounce off and not really create that solid black background, you know, um, the best way to deal with that is to have your subject standing further away from the, uh, the backdrop, so the light that you're using to light that person, it won't bounce to the, uh, you know, the backdrop that much, and also inside the editor, you know, you, of course you want to adjust your exposures to, uh, you know, to benefit so the carrying bag that came with it is decent you know nothing out of the ordinary um the zippers on there are heavy duty zippers so uh that's pretty cool you know i didn't know i wasn't expecting that but they're pretty heavy duty so also inside this kit they included two free gifts a little keychain flashlight and a cleaning cloth Um, as far as overall, as far as the build quality of the tripods and the poles, they're slightly better than the tripods and poles that came with my uh, ePhoto green screen kit. So they're not super professional heavy duty by any means, but they're slightly better than that kit and particularly by ePhoto. And to be quite honest with you, as far as in-home use and small studio use, I recommend uh, you know these type of tripods and poles like versus those super super heavy duty ones like literally heavy, you know uh, setups and stuff like that. Um, because it's, it's not needed unless you got a huge studio or something like that and you got to you know setting up all kind of stuff but for in-home use just the ease of moving stuff around and just everything is light and stuff and it gets the job done that's all you need you don't need nothing super super crazy spending like uh, I don't know two thousand dollars on a, a black and white backdrop because the poles and everything are prof is professional quality you know I mean all you do is get a sl uh, better quality as far as the materials made us made of steel or something like that instead of aluminum but um, you know for my in-home studio use I recommend aluminum all this all this light uh, gear over all the heavy-duty stuff any day now as far as how the material feels it feels like a thick sheet um, which makes it easy to work with you know um, easy to fold and stuff like that since it's so thick and it's so like solid you know um, so I shouldn't have no issues with, you know, folding it up and putting it back inside the uh, original carrying bag. I don't know why they include those because there's no way in the world you can fold that these things back up to the way it came. But um, I'm pretty sure somebody probably can do it, but I won't be using those to uh, store them or anything like that. Now, as you can see from the video, I decided not to use the tripods that came with it. Instead, I decided to have this little setup where I have it hanging from the ceiling to make it easy to move around and do different things and stuff like that um, and just because the tripods be in a way and you know it takes up a little bit more room on each side and stuff like that but aside certain situations and circumstances I'm still use the tripods that came with it to hang up the backdrops but the way you see me have it hanging down from the poles I'm still gonna have it have it like that I won't run the poles through the backdrop itself because sometimes I'm gonna use a uh, use them in different ways. Sometimes I need it shorter. Sometimes I need it longer. So it's good to have it hanging um, the way I have it inside the video. So with that said, that's going to conclude my unboxing slash overview of my black and white backdrop kit. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Got any questions? Leave it down below. Um, hopefully I'll help somebody out to make a purchase or help somebody out not to make a purchase. Um, and also forgive me if my voice don't sound right. I'm, I'm sick. So um, sorry about that. And also, I got an uh, unboxing slash overview of Newer's uh, reflector kit. So check that out. With that said, it's been your boy Emily, and I'm out. Peace.